Hi everybody, welcome back. This is the third session of Tailpreneurs Ireland's TT at Home. It's the third session of four. Um, I'm Rachel and this is Tom. Give us a wave, Tom. Yeah. And we're going to be taking you through session three today. So like our other sessions, we're going to start by showing you an equipment list, give the video a pause, go gather everything you need for the session and then we'll start. So let me share my screen. So this is the equipment list. Can you see that okay, Tom? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so you're going to need your tail harness bat and balls. You're going to need your creative tail harness bat, balls and net like you have before. Try and use something different that you might not have used last week. You're going to need access to a kitchen table or a desk or any table that you've got, but really the bigger the better with the table. Try and get as big a table as you can. Okay, and you're going to need four pieces of A4 paper that we used last week plus a pen. And the last thing is plenty of space. Make sure you're not near any furniture, your dogs and your cats aren't anywhere inside. You don't want to trip over them. So just make sure you have plenty of space there. Okay, so pause the video, go gather your bits and bobs. Okay, now I'm just going to go through the answers to last week's questions. So hopefully you went away and you had a look at the answers to those yourself. So I'm just going to tell you the answers now. So the first question I wanted you to find out was, Number one, how many serves does each player serve consecutively? So in a match, each player serves two serves, and then they switch and the other person serves. Okay, the only deviation from this is if it goes to 10 all, then it's one serve each per person. Okay, question two, what is the name of the World Table Tennis Governing Body? So it's the ITTF, and that stands for the International Table Tennis Federation. So hopefully you found that one out on Google. And the third question, who is the fam female and male world number one and which countries are they from? So the number one male player at the moment is Fan Zendong and the number one female player is Cheng Meng and they are both from China. Okay, hopefully you had a good go at those questions and you got a couple of them right. Okay, so now we're going to start our session. So I'm going to hand over to Tom now and he is going to take us through our warm up. Over to you, Tom. Hi guys, yeah, to start with today, I'm going to start with a light jog, just to loosen up, so we'll start. Make sure to shake out your arms and your legs, nothing too intense. We'll do this for 20 or 30 seconds. Okay, now we're going to go into bum kicks. So raise your legs behind you. This. Similar timings again. Then now we're going to go into high knees. Make sure you get those knees up as close to 90 degrees as you can. Okay, my back to jogging. Okay, now we're going to move into jump rope. You don't need a rope for this. So start, pretend you've got a rope. Almost there. And I'm back to jogging. Again, nothing too intense. Make sure you're shaking out those arms. Okay, now we're moving into jumping jacks. Make sure to get your arms right above your head. Ten more seconds. Four, three, 
two, one. Okay, back to the light job. And stop. So now we're gonna move into some stretching. So we're gonna start with the lunges. So we're coming down and up. And change the legs, down and up. Make sure you're getting your back leg as close to the ground as you can, but not touching the ground. Keeping your upper body straight. I'm doing 10 more of these. Four, three, two, one. Okay, back to the light show. Okay, now for the last exercise, we're gonna start stretching our hamstrings, the back of our legs. So we're coming down, and touching our toes, and back up, and down, and touching our toes. Up. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Thanks, guys. Great. Thanks, Tom. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the rest of our session. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So next we're going to do some fun games. Um, I'm going to pass over to Tom, and he's actually going to show you how to do those. Okay, over to you, Tom. Take it away. Hi. Right, so for the first exercise, we're going to start with get your ball and your bat, and we're going to start with balancing the ball on the bat. And once you've got that, we'll start with lowering down into our ready position and sidestepping from right and then back to the middle and then to the left and we'll do the same back to the middle to the right and back to the middle all while balancing our ball on our path and we'll see how long we can keep this If you drop it, it's fine. You can pick it up and keep going. Not to worry. Okay. Last few. Three, two, one, and we'll finish it. Okay, now for the second exercise, guys, we'll get our pieces of paper. Now I've got four pieces of paper here, and we're going to get them and place them on the floor. Do one on the left, one just next to it, just next to that again, and the last one on the right. Okay, for this exercise, we're going to get our bat and our ball, and we're going to balance it while zigzagging in and out of the four pieces of paper, and then back again. So we'll start. Start from the first piece of paper. We'll go. All about balancing, and Ryan and back again. Same again. Again, if you drop the ball, no worries, you can pick up and keep going. Here you drop it. We'll do this a couple more times. 
Asun. And finish there. So now I'm going to let you guys do a challenge. So this challenge, we've got our four pieces of paper on the ground, and we're going to see how long can you, for a minute, how long can you consecutively walk by sidestepping? How long can you sidestep in and out of the four pieces of paper? And time yourself to see how long you can get by sidestepping in and out of the four pieces of paper. So give it a try, guys. All right, guys, there's a minute to go try yourself. Welcome back. Hopefully you had a good go at that challenge that Tom set you. Now we're going to move on to a bit of accuracy and consistency challenges. So I need you to go and find yourself a table, kitchen table. It doesn't have to be a table tennis table. Tom's got himself a table tennis table there, as you can see, but it doesn't matter. As you, this is just a coffee table for me. Okay. Then you need two objects. doesn't really matter what it is. I've got two books here. Um, but you can see Tom here there has got two two tape two cell tapes. Okay, so it can really be anything. So what we want to do is we want to get the two objects and you're going to place them on the table and you're going to create a small corridor for yourself on the table. If You can make it quite wide to start off with. Okay, so you're making a small corridor for yourself. You need a tail tennis ball. You're going to position yourself at the end of the table and you're just going to try and roll the ball through the gap. Okay, then you want to make it diff more difficult, you can make the gap slightly smaller. So you get your tailbone ball and aim and you roll. Oh, you roll. More difficult than it looks. Roll through the gap. Okay? So we're rolling through the gap. To make it more difficult, you can make the gap smaller. You, if you've got a large table, you can take a step back. You, the, the longer the distance you have to roll it, the more difficult it will be. But have a go. It doesn't have to be books. It can be... Um, you can use two cups. It can literally be anything. So just have a go at that. I'm going to give you a minute. Go and try that and see if you can roll the ball through the gaps in your objects. Okay? Go for it. challenge rolling the ball through the gap in the objects so now we're going to move on and we're going to learn our new shot last week the last couple of weeks we learned backhand drive and backhand serve now we're moving on to the forehand okay so like the backhand you want to get your stance right so you want to stand you don't want to stand side on and you don't want to stand square 
You want to start somewhere in between, okay? So a 45 degree angle. Okay. You may, again, make sure your long playing arm is up and it's not just hanging by your side. So it's up and ready. This is my playing arm. I'm right handed, but Tom is left handed. So you can see now both, if you're left handed, you can see how to play it from Tom's perspective. Okay, so now it's not like tennis where you have a massive backswing and follow through. In table tennis, we want quite a short backswing and short follow through. So we're gonna start by transferring our weight onto our right leg. For Tom, that'll be his left leg. We're gonna backswing not too far. And we're gonna transfer our weight onto our left leg. And we're gonna follow through and it's gonna stop just above, just in line with our eyes, okay? So we're short backswing, follow through. But you're not, it's not a massive follow through, okay? It's just short backswing to the head right in front of your eyes, okay? Make sure your back angle is slightly closed over. You don't want to open up like this, you want it slightly closed over so that this side of the back is sort of facing to the floor, okay? Transfer that way. Keep your arm up in front of the head. Yep, so you can see from I'm right-handed, Tom's left-handed, so you can see the different versions there, okay? So you're transferring your weight from your right to your left. If you're left-handed, it's the opposite. In front of your head. Front of your head. Okay, so now Tom's going to show you um, how to play a four, an actual forehand shot. He's going to drop the ball and he's going to play a forehand shot. So watch Tom and then you can have a go for yourself. So Tom, go ahead. Okay, look how it's not a massive, not, not a massive follow through, it's just nice and short. Couple more, Tom. Okay, yeah. So you can see there Tom's nice action. Okay, so go away, you have two minutes, maybe try the first minute, just practicing that forehand shadow play. Okay, nice and gentle, get used to the weight transfer. Okay, then the second minute, get to your table, you can pull up your creative net to make sure that you have a, a net, and you can bounce the ball and practice playing your forehand shot for a minute. Okay, bounce it on your table, hit it. Okay. So you have two minutes, go away and try that. Okay, great. Taking it back, not 
too far with the follow through. Again, right in front of your, of your nose, okay? Remember the weight transfer from your right to your left. If you're right-handed, the opposite if you're left-handed. Okay, so hopefully we've had a good go at that. Now we're gonna take it a step further and make it a bit more difficult. So in the last exercise, you bounce the ball and you hit it. This time, you're not gonna bounce the ball on the table. You're just gonna take it off your hands or you're gonna throw it up slightly and then hit it. So we're not bouncing, that's what was the last one. We're just gonna throw the ball up or just take it off your hands and play that full hand shot. Remember, keeping the same techniques we've just learned and that you've just practiced. So I'm just going to hand over to Tom now. He's going to show you. He's going to take the ball off his hand and practice that full hand shot. Okay, Tom? Okay, guys. So I've got my three balls here. And we're going to demonstrate this stroke and practice it five times. So the first, we're going to get our ball, get into the ready spot, and throw it up and hit it. Making sure to follow through right to the nose. And we're turning into the ball. Second ball, throw it up. And we're following three. We grab our third ball and throw it up. And follow three. We're going to do this two more times. So we collect the balls. We grab our fourth ball now. We're in the ready to go. And our last one. And we're going to turn in. Stop the bottom of the Okay, so now we're going to get our two pieces of paper. We're putting one of the pieces of paper on the right hand side of the table, and the other piece of paper on the left hand side. So now we're going to collect the balls. I'm going to start your three balls. I'm going to start by it into the right hand side. We've got our first ball in the ready position, throwing it up, turn in. Our right second ball, throwing it up, turn in. Our back ball to this side, throwing it up, turn it in. Now we're going to collect our balls again and we'll try it with the left hand side. Okay, you've got your balls. Three more balls here, getting our first one, and then into the left hand side. So in the ready position, throwing the ball up, and hitting it into the left hand side. Making sure to turn and follow the right area for the hip twist. Get our second ball. Turn it in. We've got our ball here. We're turning it in. Okay, now I'm on the back of the ritual. Okay. All right, everybody, so we've just practiced that nice forehand shot with the technique. Remember, that in line with the nose, and we've practiced it at the targets. Okay, so we're going to give you a couple minutes now. But before we send you away, don't forget about your creative back. Okay, so remember, I've got, I've got a frying pan here. So practice, you can play with, with your creative back. So I'm going to hand back to Tom. He's going to have a go, just for a bit of fun. See if you can hit the targets with your creative back. Go ahead, Tom. Okay, I've got my three balls again. I've got my three of back here. We're going to try and hit the targets a couple more times. There's one. Second ball, throw it up, turn it in. There's two. And then the third ball, we're going to try and hit it in the other corner. And I'm doing this. No worries if you miss. Okay, guys, so don't worry, just keep going if you miss. You've got two minutes. So go and try hitting those targets for me. And then we'll come back and we'll learn all about the forehand serve. Okay, everybody, good luck and off you go.
Okay, so now that we've learned the basic forehand drive shot, like we did last week where we learned the backhand serve, now we're going to learn the forehand serve. Okay, so you want to have the ball nice and flat on your palm like this, okay? You don't want to stand too close to the table. You can see there, Tom's not too close to the table there. And you're going to hold the back, hold the ball, sorry, on the palm of your hands. You're going to throw it up. Now, don't throw it too high. You don't want to shoot it really high in the sky because you're not going to be able to hit it. It's just a couple of inches. Maybe just practice throwing it up a couple of inches, not high at all. Okay. So you're going to throw the ball up, and then you're going to strike the ball like this with your forehand. It's not the forehand drive shot. You came up. This way is more forwards. You're going more forward through like this, okay? So it's slightly lower down. Throwing the ball up, strike the ball, okay? It's gonna hit your side first, and then it's gonna go over the net and hit the opponent's side of the net, of, of the table. So you throw it up, not too high, strike the ball, your side, over the net, onto the other side, okay? So I'm just gonna pass across to Tom now, and he's gonna show you on an actual table, and then you can have a try for yourself. Okay, Tom? Yeah, thanks. So make sure when you're serving, you're not throwing it up, like what Rachel said, uh, not too high. Um, maybe you're striking it, you want the first bounce to land sort of in the middle of the table on your side. And drive it. Last one. Great, thanks Tom. So you can see there how Tom wasn't throwing it too high, just a nice couple of inches, not hitting it too hard on the strike. You don't want to give it a good whack because it'll run, run away with you. So just nice, gentle, guide it onto the table. Okay, so go away, have got two minutes to practice that, get yourself to your table, set up your creative net, throw up the ball, hit it onto your side, over your creative net onto the other side of the table. Give that a practice. Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll finish up the session with a couple of questions. Welcome back. Hopefully you had a good go at those forehand serves on your own table. You can keep practicing those for next week. Okay, so that's the end of the session now, but I want to leave you with a couple of questions that you can go away and research for next week. So let's just look at the questions now. So I'll just share my screen. Can you see that okay, Tom? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So first question. What is the height of the table tennis net? Okay, second question. 
What are the lengths and width of the table tennis table? Okay, and thirdly, how high is the table tennis table? Okay, so you can pause the video, maybe go research those now, write them down and have them ready for whenever we come back next week. Okay, everybody, so that's the end of the session. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, I wanna thank Tom for helping me out today. He's been great. And I'll see you all next week, hopefully, for the fourth and final session. So keep practicing all your table tennis skills. You can keep practicing your bat and ball skills. You can practice the serves. And then hopefully we'll all come back and rejoin for the last session next week. Okay, thanks guys, bye.